Hey guys, I haven't been recording these tutorials in a while, so I'm happy to be back and I'm super happy and excited about showcasing our new Super Agent X Airtable integration. So basically what this thing does is that it allows you to research information on the web and transform that information into the data structure that you have inside of your Airtable, similar to this little video over here. So I'm just going to jump right in to the demo and show you my table. This is how it looks. So we have a company name and what we want to do is that we want to use that company name to fill out all of this other information we've got here. So how do we achieve that well basically what we do is that we go to super agent and we create a new project i call this project company research and then we can start creating ai powered workflows that basically fetch the information that we want so here i have a workflow um, that basically takes this leads list that we had it connects our web research agent and here is the prompt that I'm going to use to get all of this information that I need uh, from the internet, basically. And I'm going to leverage the name uh, that we have, the name column in the Airtable table. So let's go ahead and do that. And before we start, we want to make sure that we can extract the information in the exact same format that we have in our Airtable. All right, there we go. So here we see an example of what the researcher has fetched from the web and it looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and map these to our Airtable columns. So I can just select these columns here and I'll just do that. Funding stages, we're going to set this to valuation. We have the Twitter URL, great, LinkedIn, the GitHub and the website cool so now i have everything mapped out i'll just press save here and the next thing i want to do is to run this workflow and see if it can populate my air table and there we go so as you can see it has populated the columns that it found we didn't actually map these two last columns, but we could have done that as well. And it does a pretty decent job. All of this seems to be quite fair. Uh, and from what I know, all of this information is actually valid. So it has done its job. Now, one cool thing is that it could actually fill out different type of fields. So it actually has support for any type of field like this currency field here or this multi select drop down um, as well as URLs as well as attachments. And you can also run these uh, workflows as automation. So every time a new row gets added to your Airtable, you can just create an automation for that and that would run the workflow. So that's the first demo of a series of demos I'm going to do on how you can leverage a super agent inside of Airtable. Uh, just keep subscribing and more to come. Thank you. Bye.